You know you have to be at work soon, right? You can't just lay here dreaming all day. Says who? Well, I'm guessing your boss? That's who. You know, Henry, you can be a real buzzkill sometimes. Hey, I only point out what you already know yourself. This one looks good. There you are. Oh, <laughs> hi, Dia. I've been looking everywhere for you. You know the point of having a job is to actually work? Well, you know, the point of working in a library is to actually be surrounded by books. <laughs> well, why don't you help me stack these books you love so much? Would you just go over and talk to him already? I don't know who you're talking about. He comes in here every day and tries to talk to you, but you just keep running away. I don't need to talk to him. I already know him. What? His name is Max. He's in my English class. He asked me out to coffee last week. And what did you say? Well, no, obviously. Come on, you know I don't date. What's the point? Come on. What's wrong with going out and having a little fun? Oh, come on. We stay inside all the time and have tons of fun. Alice, staying in and watching Disney movies isn't fun. You need to get out and live your life a bit. Would you just listen to her already? I mean, she's your best friend, after all. What were you doing? Nothing. You saw him, didn't you? Saw who? You saw Henry. No, not again. He doesn't really ever go away. Come on, Alice. This isn't good for your health. It's been two years. It's time to move on. Have to move on? You have no right to tell me when to move on. You have no idea what I've been going through. You're right. I don't know what it's like, but I can see you refuse to come to terms. I just don't want Henry's accident to haunt you for the rest of your life. He was my brother. He's not just someone I get over. You shouldn't have yelled at her like that. She's just trying to look out for you. I know. You know, she's right. You have to let me go. I can't. I can't let you go. Not again. I can't do this alone. You remember that house on Pine Street? The one with the big hill that we used to race our bikes down? I remember one time we were racing, and I was ahead of you. All of a sudden, I heard a crash behind me. I looked back, you had fallen off your bike and were laying in the middle of the street. I ran as fast as I could, but by the time I got there, you were already standing up and brushing yourself off. You were all banged up. I swear you had scraped every corner of yourself. But there you are, picking up your bike and smiling. And then you said best, best two out of three. three. 
You don't need me to get through this. You never have. How do you know? Because you're the strongest person I know. Hey, I saw you run and I wanted to see if you were okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. So, you still wanna go get that coffee? Yeah, that'd be great. I'll see you, daydreamer. <laughs>